I am back in the kitchen with uh, Sylvia Davis of Feeding Carl, which is a uh, easy allergy-free cooking. And I think this is so fantastic because I actually have a brother who is mm -hmm. like deathly allergic to nuts. Uh, so I think okay. there's everyone at home can relate to this in some way. Well, and allergies are one of the fastest growing diseases right now, chronic diseases, it and Crohn's disease, which is the reason I wrote the book. Um, there are actually two of so it's increasingly a problem for many people and families. Right, and so this is an entire book full of easy recipes. Now, That's when you right. say easy, I can't cook. <laughs> okay. So is that even something that I could do then? Yes, it is. Yes. I mean, to be honest, my children cook and the, from this book, and the reason we're doing tacos today is because it's my son's favorite meal to cook. Fantastic. He loves tacos, and, and the guacamole and the uh, salsa are all from the book as well. And most of the recipes um, contain only about six ingredients, and the steps are very straightforward, like one, this, you do this, you do this, you do this, and I've done that because I know myself, when I switched over to this diet, it was completely overwhelming because it was such a change. Oh, totally. And just having to think about everything all the time. And I thought, it shouldn't be this hard. And I know, and I met so many people, um, especially moms, because of me doing this for my son, who are in a similar situation. And I thought, you know what, I, we can make this easier. Right, and so you mentioned your son. When he was seven, he was diagnosed with Crohn's, is that That's correct? That's right, and it's a chronic inflammation of the digestive system. Right, so it's really, you need to make sure that you're eating certain food groups um, that, in order to prevent it from flaring up again, right? Well, yeah, it's mostly in his case. I mean, not everyone chooses to use diet, but I thought, well, it's a disease of the digestive system. Totally. It makes sense. And so we started looking into it, and we had to be very extreme at first because he was extremely ill. And, oh. and Crohn's is a horrible disease. I mean, it's very painful. He would have bouts of cramping that lasted 20 to 30 minutes at a time, and it was really awful. Yeah. And it was wonderful. Once we got him on the right medication and the diet, He's, we saw a change within 48 hours. Wow. And it, we've actually, you know, we've had a few setbacks, but we've never gone back to that horrible time when he was so ill. Amazing. And so he's in remission wonderful. now. He is. Yeah. Fantastic. And, and isn't that so great. inspiring to, you know, build something out of something that's a little bit darker? I think that's yeah. fabulous. So we're cooking tacos. We are. And you said the ingredients are fairly basic. Tell me a little bit about they this. They are. Okay. So we start with some ground beef. Okay, and so you want to brown that, mm -hmm. and this is, you know, it's probably brown enough for today's purposes. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> All right, and then what we do is we add a number of ingredients. Okay. Okay, and so we're going to put in some dried onion and some garlic. Yum. And some chili, paprika. I love the smell of chili. And some oregano. Can I start mixing? Please mix, yes. Look and, at me go. Um, some cumin and a bit of salt. And, you know, it's, it's one of those things, if you have them on hand, it's very easy. I also will make this into a mix. So oh, then great. I just, all, like, it's, so it's a really so it's quick meal. Like this is another one of, I have many meals in my book to uh, Feeding Carl that have um, our 30 minute meals. Because when you've got a lot of allergies, you can't totally. order a pizza, you exactly. can't order in. So you have to be able to do quick meals. So on I've a got, whim. In, on a whim. So in less time than it takes to order in food, you can have a meal ready. And you mentioned the Feeding Carl title. Why yes. did you call it Feeding Carl? Well, that's um, one of the things that I think has really helped my son get through this, um, the pain and issues of chronic illness, is that uh, he's got a great sense of humor. And uh, he called his stomach Carl. I don't know, it just happened <laughs> one morning. He was, he, had, he was having some cramping and he went, ow, Carl. <laughs> And so that's where the name, it stuck, and that's where the name, stuck. Stuck, that's that's so the name of the book came from. Well, I think it's important to have a sense of humor over something like that. So well, it certainly helps. With the finished product over here, this is already done? It is. Yummy. So what do you do now? You just stick now it? Now you can just put some in there. And um, the, I've also brought some salsa and guacamole, which are, um, I put the pit in the guacamole because it helps it stay green. Oh, great. And it helps prevents it from browning. So um, you can have some salsa. Yummy. And that. I'll cut you up a little lettuce and a little tomato to go on that. This is fabulous. Okay, so we're running out of time, and I wanted okay. to make sure that you have a book signing. I do, at Chapters today at 5 o'clock here in Ottawa. Fantastic. And where else can we get your uh, delicious cook? book and recipes. You can find it on uh, my website and there's also a lot of information about food allergies and, ins and sensitivities mm -hmm. on the cookbook and um, you can so on my site feedingcarl.com and Amazon 
and here at Chapters. Hey, Kurt, are you going to come try this? My look, concoction? Look at you making food. Isn't this good? I know. Here, do you want to try one? Yeah, there you absolutely. go. Thanks yum, a yum. Lot. The guacamole Never is Never met a taco I didn't like. Oh, good. Yeah. I, for one, love guacamole. Me yes. too, eh? Yeah. Well, try this one. It's great. It's simple. Again, just a few ingredients and really oh. delicious. Isn't it good great? Guac? So good. I know. My son is actually the best guac maker in our house. Oh, It's a my bit of a gosh. competition for us. This is delicious. And it, isn't it great? And it's so like good. I said, simple and healthy. For anyone, really. Yeah. I mean, if you've got allergies or sensitivities. Come on, you can make but this. even. I totally can make this. Yeah. A lot of people actually <laughs> buy my book just because it's healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Oh, it's such thank a you pleasure. For this me. is delicious. Feeding Carl, so you said uh, the Ottawa chapters at Amazon. 5 o'clock today. Amazon. Yes. And on your website, <laughs> feedingcarl.com. Yes. Amazing. Okay, so we're going to take a short break, and right after that, we have. Charlie Hope, who is a Juno nominee, and she's yeah. going to perform. Yeah.